Hi friends, welcome to Chris Sharp. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to clear the manual testing interview. Uh, what are all the different things required in the part of manual testing? As you know, any software testing interview, for first 10 to 15 minutes, they're going to focus on the manual testing part. And then they're going to talk about the automation part and DB part and API and all these, right? So coming to the manual testing, once you clear all the questions, at least they need to understand you are having some knowledge on manual testing or experience on manual testing. Then only they can continue the interview on automation part and other things. If they did not satisfy with the manual testing part, they may not be able to continue with the interview. They are going to wrap it up over there. So uh, that is how it is happening in the real time. So that is the reason first we need to focus on manual testing. What are all the different things they may ask in the interview? So those things I'm going to focus in this video more along with the, some of the real time questions. What? we required and how to answer them also I will try to help here. Now coming to the manual testing part, you need to know about the SDLC models, like at least a few of the models like waterfall model and agile model and um, uh, spiral model, VV model, because coming to the real time model, mostly we are using V model and agile model. Agile model, I can say 70 to 80 percent of the projects we are using agile and other projects and all if stable requirements will be there, then they are using the V model and all. Yeah. You need to have strong knowledge about all the phases of the SDLC models, especially Agile model. When you are using the Agile model, surely you may have used some tools like Jira or version 1, some of the tools. Okay, You need to have thorough knowledge on those tools as well in the interview and all they may ask you questions how to uh, raise the bugs over there or how to upload the test cases, how to execute the test cases in Jira, so the, how to see the burn down chart in Jira and all. Okay, If you don't have knowledge on all this, please try to visit all, all other videos which I uploaded. Jira video, one hour video I uploaded, please go through it so that you will get complete knowledge on Jira. Okay, so you need to have the clear knowledge on the SDLC part. So along with the uh, uh, Jira tool and all, how to, as I said, how to raise the bulk test cases and all. And coming to the next part, you need to have the knowledge on the software testing life cycle, like the phases test plan, test development, test execution, results analysis, and bug tracking and reporting. Uh, coming to the test plan, so interviewer will expect nowadays even for two, three years experience people also, they are expecting whether you have prepared the test plan or not. Okay, even two years guy also they are expecting to prepare your test plan. So that is the market now. Okay, so you need to have strong knowledge on test plan, how to prepare it, what all the different sections will be there and how to prepare the schedule and how to update what all the software is required, who resources are working in the project, what are all their responsibilities what testings we are doing, what levels of testings we are doing, what is in scope, what is out scope, everything you need to mention very clearly in the test plan, you need to talk about all these things in the part of the test plan. Next, the second part will be test development, where we are going to talking about the how to prepare the test cases, uh, test scenarios, and what all the different techniques we are going to use, like boundary value analysis or equivalence partitioning and our error guessing. So these are all the different techniques you need to talk about when they ask in the interview about what all the different techniques you have used for preparing the uh, test cases and all. And also here I need to talk about how you are doing the test reviews and all. Okay, what are the different strategies you are following to perform the peer reviews or how your lead is doing the review, how you are ensuring not to miss any test cases and all. You should be in the position to talk about that. Okay, fine. The next part will be like uh, test executions part, very, very important part. Like you need to understand all the test cases and you need to how to execute them. You need to know and how to update the results. And if there is a fail, you, you know already. So we need to raise the bugs to the development team and get it fixed. And again, we need to perform the uh, retesting part, whether bug is fixed or not. And then we need to uh, subsequently, we need to perform the regression testing part and all, all these you need to talk about in the interview when they asked about the software testing life cycle. Finally, reporting, how you are reporting the bugs and test cases, test results to the uh, client and all in which mail format you are using or which Excel formats you are using. Or if at all you are using Jira, then how you are extracting the report from the Jira. All these things you should have some knowledge on it to answer in the interview and all that is what they are expecting in the part of uh, STLC. So along with that, you need to know what environments you are having in your project like uh, pre-SIT, SIT and uh, UAT part, pre-production and production different environments will be there. So you need to know about all the environments usually we have in real time. So you need to talk about all those environments whenever they ask something about the environments part and all. Similar way, what are all the different types of you are doing in your project and all. Like usually we perform smoke testing, retesting, regression testing, functional testing, ad hoc testing whenever it is required or um, a regression testing part we are doing. Okay, if, if it is their performance testing part, if it is their automation testing part, you need to talk about 
what are all the testings you are doing in the part of your project okay so to the interviewer very clearly so that they will understand you are having some knowledge or experience in real time point of view similarly so what uh, what are all the different metrics you are capturing for example the metrics kind of thing test coverage or remarks versus defect ratio or defect severity index or burn down chart whatever it is so you need to talk about all those uh, metrics part as well so whenever they ask what metrics you are gathering in the part of your project you need to talk about that okay so along with that some real time questions they may ask you what are all the critical defects you identified in your project okay how much time it will take for the five point test story to complete the test cases and the testing bug free testing everything and all and what is your sprint life cycle or how many uh, weeks sprint you are having who is maintaining all the stories in the storyboard they may talk about agile model very clearly guys you need to have strong knowledge on agile model how the things will happen what is epic what is story what is task what is scrum who is scrum master who is product owner what are all their responsibilities and you need to talk about all these things in the part of the uh, interview their responsibilities and, and and also especially different meetings may happen in agile model like um, uh, sprint uh, planning meeting will be there sprint retrospection will be there sprint review meeting okay so sprint prioritization meeting will be there all this and scrum meeting very clearly every day scrum meeting will be there so what is happening and all in all these meetings you need to know okay they may ask you clearly that are you given any demo to the business in the part of sprint review meeting so usually whoever is testing the story in agile model they have to give the demo to the um, business and all so you can mention very clearly in the interview like you have given demo to the business they are, and immediately subsequent question is like what are the questions they ask what enhancements they suggested to you you should be well prepared uh, with some points like what suggestions you received from the business on top of that particular story okay so these are all the things i want to talk about related to the agile model and all and also like uh, when some questions like when you don't have the time in agile model what you are going to do how you are going to uh, continue with your testing for example in the 10 days sprint eighth day they have given story to you only two days is there you cannot able to complete with your testing then what you are going to do similarly you missed some production bugs they are raised in the production how you are going to do the root cause analysis for it like a similar way so many questions they may ask you related to the real time and all if whatever i talk so far if you are able to answer all these questions mostly your manual testing you can able to clear the interview and then the interview may continue with the automation part and all okay so in the 30 minutes interview or 40 minutes interview first 10 to 15 minutes on manual testing part will be there and then sometime on automation and db compulsory they are going to touch it anyway in the coming videos i'm going to cover what are all the questions they may ask on the db side and automation side and api side yeah i will ensure to cover Uh, uh most of the things in our videos please try to follow our channel so that you will get complete idea on what they are asking in current market and all so don't worry about the calls now so surely the market will be good in coming a uh, couple of months or three four months so meanwhile you can ready with all your skills and update your skills so that you will be in the position to crack the interview once the calls are started so all the best to everyone guys so that's all for the, this video thank you so much so please like and subscribe to our channel